Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Victor. Um, I go to Audacious and I've been privileged to sing on Audacious Band. Um, today, I'll be talking about my favorite Proverbs verse, and that's Proverbs 4, verse 23. And I read, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. This is a very profound um, verse, and I found that this verse has done a lot for me in my work with God. Um, so what does it mean? So why, as believers, why do we need to guard our heart? First off, to live a God-centered life, we need a pure heart. Also, to live a life that mirrors what that mirrors the life of Jesus, we also need a pure heart. Um, according to Matthew 8 verse 5 that says blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God for us to see God we need a pure heart so what does it mean um, for us to guard our heart this is just my own personal understanding I think for us to guard our heart that means paying close attention to what enters and also what emerges out of our heart or out of our inner self and by doing this we set a good example to those around us. According to the book of Matthew 5, verse 16, it says, Let your light so shine before men that they shall see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Um, from, for out of the abundance of a good heart, that's where good works comes out from. Um, but guarding your heart doesn't necessarily just stop at checkmating what comes, what enters our heart but also checkmating what we let out. Oftentimes, right, as believers, we focus more on what we're letting in. That sometimes we forget that things like pride, self-righteousness, judging others, perverse talk, and deception all comes from within. Just like um, a door um, has two purposes, letting things come in and also letting things come out. We need to checkmate not just what we let into our heart, but also what we let out of our heart as believers. So as believers, how do we guard our heart? Um, I'm just going to mention four things. I'm pretty sure there are like a 1,001 things or ways on how to guard your heart. But for me, um, I'm just going to mention four, and this is very personal to me. Number one, that is seeking God daily and through prayers. Um, I'm someone that strongly believes that prayer is the master key. Um, there's a popular song, prayer is the key, prayer is the key, prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayers. Prayer is the master key. I so much believe in that song. Um, um, so as a way of guarding your heart, you need to seek God daily through prayers. I said just that. We need to daily study the word of God. Um, how do you know what God has said for your life to live a God-centered life if you don't know what God's word is concerning your life? Help me make it make sense. <laughs> um, I said just that, um, reflecting on the blessings and what God has done for you. This is very key for me. Sometimes when I'm afraid or when I'm feeling a certain type of way, I remember on the good things that God has done for me. And with that, with that mindset, right, um, I don't let things burden me. I don't let things like fear steal, steal my joy away from me. And lastly, inviting the Holy Spirit um, to speak to you through your day. I want to let you know that the Holy Spirit is not a fictional being. He is actually a living being and he wants to have conversations with you. So on a daily basis, I want to beseech you to always invite the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Always create time for him to listen to what God has and to what the Holy Spirit wants to say to you. That way, he's going to help you guard your heart. Um, as we guard our heart with all diligence, I pray that God gives us his enabling grace um, for a pure heart that is God-centered in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. And I love you. Bye.